I think it's a little bit different for us, salt water. It's really fun to play, sort of with all the little guitar parts, uh, although it's really hard to play live. It took us a couple of practices, I think, to uh, to get it into shape. Salt water came out of pretty much a jam that we just started having a couple of weeks before we went to the studio. And it was just a jam that got finished in the studio. And the lyrics were the last thing to come. And it was actually the first time that um, the three of us had sat and wrote lyrics together. Now it was more out of sheer desperation because we had one day left in the studio and we had to go and do it. Uh, but it worked really well and it was the one that took us most by surprise because it was the last one to get written but it's the first song on the album. came together, it was, um, it was actually a little riff um, I had that I showed Neil um, and a few chords and we often get together and do acoustic stuff when Jay's away or on his head or, you know, it's a really basic song, um, it's a handful of chords and a melody, that, you know, that's it, um, but I, it's definitely one of my favourites on the record as well. It's quite representative of the album, you know, it's quite a gritty, a gritty tune. Um, that really catchy and, and quite positive as well as you know being having a bit of edge to it. So we thought that, that OK would kind of kind of summed up the transition from the old album to the new album. It kind of made sense to release that as the first track just to kind of break people into the new album. It was pretty cool the downloads when uh, there was actually people singing along. I turned the download, which was a bit of a surprise to us, but it was pretty uh, it was pretty cool as well. Lyrically, it's about, uh, I suffer from sort of bad stomach cramps. Um, it's just sort of about dealing with that, really. Um, and it's, or not dealing with that. Or not dealing with that. <laughs> uh, certain activities I maybe partook in in my younger days, probably, are the reason for this. It's just sort of looking back and thinking, well, maybe you didn't know everything. <laughs> But no point dwelling on it. But yeah, there's no point dwelling on the past, you might as well just get on with it. I really enjoyed recording that track in particular because it's a, for me, anyway, it's a really simple beat and it's one of the oldest, you know, beats in the book. I'm starting to learn that less is sometimes more and it's usually about the things that you don't play in the song that makes it what it is. Because it keeps that dream alive Hiding from the hatred of my working life The 595 is the road that sort of me and Gareth travel to practice three, four times a week. Um, it's a long drag. Just about being sort of grateful for what you've got really. I think a lot of people are very quick to complain. I know I am. <laughs> we don't have it that bad, I don't think. Um, Generally. Well, I think that song is quite important because it kind of it's it's a song about my and Neil's hometown. It's quite a kind of sensitive song for us, but uh, it's something that we thought needed to be on the album. It's a song about the Cumbrian flood in 2009. It wasn't a sort of conscious decision, I don't think, to write a song about the flood. I remember quite vaguely sort of driving up the north side bridge and sort of coming up with the sort of melody in one of the lines and it just sort of expanded from there. That was the one song I think Ramesh took and then took apart again from sort of the demo that we had. Um, I think we were thinking possibly a bit a bit too um, advanced in our age. New, completely new territory for us, but something that we wanted to 
to, to, to look at again on, on this album was, was something a bit slower and a bit, a bit more soft kind of pace. Yeah, it started off as like a really pop punk kind of, almost like kind of Atari's audio karate kind of tune. It was really fast and upbeat. And then we played it slow one day and we're like, oh God, that's way better. It was a bit of a change and it was like it kind of showed a bit, you know, that we're not just all about kind of making the fast kind of punk rock songs. Uh, so it was nice to kind of make it a nice, you know, flowing, melodic kind of song uh, to put on the album. And by the time you get to the middle, you do fancy something a bit more, you know, a bit more relaxed. It breaks it up and then the rest of the album it just kicks you in the face. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it always feels like morning and you have